This book is dedicated to my inspiration, my mother, Rachel Singer. I play a retired Mossad agent. A book is being published about a very famous exploit. 30 years ago, three young Mossad agents capture a suspected Nazi war criminal. All three have become nationally celebrated figures, in particular Rachel, because she played a central part in the resolution of the mission. She's a very unrevealing person. She's buried her true feelings and her psychology very deep within her. Her personality is hidden. The younger Rachel is a very different person. She's been living a secret life for all these years. We have to deal with it. What does that mean, deal with it? She's having to confront that. Go straight for a take, really. She's someone who's learned to live with compromise in her life and is finally realizing that compromise doesn't always work. Only four people know what happened here. No matter what, the truth stays in this room between us. Oh, God. They've become locked together in a sort of unholy alliance that they can't get away from. You could have just left it alone. Nobody would have believed it. Nobody would be listening. Yes. It's a great advantage to have worked with actors before, and I've worked with both Kieran and Tom before. I was in the very first Prime Suspect. I played her boyfriend. Mm. Rachel. Stefan. That history in our real lives is a great help. We're not starting, hi, my name is Helen Mirren, no, I'm Tom Wilkinson, nice to meet you, let's play this scene, which is how it often is on film. I knew we'd be punished, I knew we'd have to pay. If I could go back, Rachel, I would change it all. You can't quantify those elements, but I definitely think they help. She's spectacular in the film. You can see the tiniest change of mood flutter across. That kind of transparency is quite unusual. She's wonderful. To see Helen again after all these years is just great. I mean, she's just a wonderful, wonderful... I'm sorry, I'm, I'm gushing. But I am gushing. She's a wonderful person. Helen's so at the top of her game. She is an ambition that has nothing to do with striving for something she can't reach, just wants to test herself. What if we could go back? Would it be different? We can't go back. It was fantastic to get her. She's extraordinarily confident about what she's doing. Perfect part for her.